and welcome to today's video. We are going to get all holiday up in here with some beautiful lights up on our eyeballs. Um, and then, yeah. Yeah, basically I was just feeling festive and decided I would decorate myself as if I were a tree. Um, yeah. So anyway, if you wanna figure out how to do this and what quick tips and tricks and how not to smudge all of your eyeshadow like I did, uh, you can watch this video and find out. As always, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to start with the base already on. If you've seen any of my other videos that I've done, we are under construction at the mall, which is fine. We, I've done the base basically the exact same way every single time. So the focus today was not the base, the focus today was the eyes. So you've seen the beginning of the video, you already know we're gonna go for some light bulbs on the eyeballs. So that is the focus. So we're gonna start uh, with the MAC paint pot in the shade Painterly, and we are just gonna go ahead and apply that all over the eyes. So now that the Painterly paint pot is on my eyeballs, we are going to grab a clean, brand new, fresh, clean M441 brush from Morphe, and we are just gonna apply, um, we're gonna go in actually with some cake mix on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. Sorry if it's not focusing. We're just gonna start by smoking out that outer edge. Okay, next we're gonna grab the shade Ouch from the same Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette, which is this like, not that pink, it's not the pink one, it's this one right here. And we're just going to smoke that underneath where we had just smoked it out. Now everything is gonna end up getting cut with this cut crease and coming out and doing like a little wingy thingy. So it doesn't matter how much you put on here because we're just gonna cut it all out in a couple of minutes anyway. Now we are going to grab the shade, uh, let's go in with cherry soda right down here. And we're going to start applying that and making it more of a deep red, just right in that crease. Now I'm kind of bringing this a little bit higher up because we're gonna cut the crease higher up in like here, mostly because um, I've got this, like when I fold my eye over, when I close my eye or open my eye or whatever, you can see this little like foldy thing. I think it's just because it's really dry, but I literally have no idea what the heck the deal is. So it makes it kind of hard to do like a cut crease, really. Okay, so to make this uh, red just like a little bit deeper, we're actually going to grab this intravenous shade right here. And then we are gonna pick up that same M441 uh, brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and just deepen it, make it a little bit darker. So it's more on like a brownie red type tone. Do I look like I'm gonna fly away? Cause I got a wink. What the crap is that? Those look delicious. Those cinnamon rolls? <gasps> Rude. Aw, those are the best. Check it out. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna eat these real fast. So now we are going to cut the crease with a brand new clean Morphe, oh, upside down, M224 brush. So it's just like this. And we are going to use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just cut right up in here. And then we're gonna do crazy stuff after that. So fun fact, I thought I was recording that entire thing of me cutting the crease and I wasn't. So uh, it's just done now. So yay for the uh, MAC Painterly Paint Pot and all of the brushes to be able to cut the crease. So we are gonna go in with the James Charles palette, the James Charles X Morphe palette, unleash your inner artist. And we are going to use this, oh gosh, we're gonna use this, what shade are we gonna use? Uh, let's use this top corner right here. And that is the shade, oh, oh my gosh, canvas. Beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna use the shade canvas and we're going to put it directly on top of where we just put that MAC Painterly paint pot. We'll put this on this side too. Cause we'll have to do it later anyway. 
So here's where it starts to get difficult. We are gonna use this NYX Epic Ink Liner in just the shade black, and we are going to start to create that little light strand where we just cut the crease right in here, and then we're gonna put light bulbs on it in a little bit, but we're gonna do this first. Okay, much better. Here we go. My hands are shaking so bad. And that is why they were shaking so bad, because I was nervous that was gonna happen. Remember that one time when I was telling you that story about how my eyelids do that wrinkle thing? There it is. I'm just gonna let it dry for a minute. So I'm gonna sit here and like not look at the camera and hope it goes away. Okie dokie, so now that our light strands are like all dry, we are gonna use a couple of liquid lips from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, it is actually from his Equality um, lip kit, lip, lip, I don't know what you call it necessarily. There's like a whole bunch of really, really pretty lipsticks. And it comes with like all of these other ones too. So there's like a whole bunch. Oh, mm. Good thing they don't break. Um, I am going to use this shade Red Rum. We are gonna use this shade Equality. We're also going to use the shade Blue Velvet, which on camera looks kind of purple, but it's not purple. It's very, very, very blue. Um, and then we are also going to use this shade called Queen Bee. And we're going to use that to be able to create the lights in this little area. I'm still not sure what brush I'm going to use or if I'm just gonna try and dot it on. Last time I tried this though, it didn't uh, dry very quickly and then I smudged it everywhere. So I think we might just use a brush, one of these little uh, M250-1 brushes um, that I actually got from the James Charles and Morphe Cosmetics Collaboration Brush Kit. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in with that, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we're gonna start with the shade Blue Velvet and then just this little itty, itty, itty baby brush. It's just a baby. It'll grow up one day, maybe not, just because I need it to be this size. Whew, pretty. as much. Oh, I lost my other brush. Okay, we'll just dot this on very so slightly. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, two, three. Cute little legs. This side. Okay, that's a broken light. Those look like weird lights, but that's okay. They say that each light is different, right? It's unique, like snowflakes. I think I just made that up. That's okay. You can make up things. We're artists, that's how we do things. Okay, now we're gonna go in with this green shade equality and we're just gonna dot that on like we did with the blue. Um, let's do it on this bottom one. Okay. And now for the shade, we'll go with Queen B. Gonna put that on the other spots and after this I'm not gonna be able to look up because it's just gonna smudge all over the place Do you see how I have light bulbs on my eyes? Dustin's looking at me like I'm crazy, but I can't look up right now because uh, I will smudge it everywhere. 
this is just what I got. I gotta like look up like this, but then you see up my nose. And nobody likes that. I guess I gotta put the red on too. Which one's red? That one's red. We're gonna use red rum and we'll put these little dots on. This looks like a hot mess. This light bulb looks like it. Seen better days. So now we wait. Okay, so if there's anything you need to know about me, is that I'm not a patient person. But I think it's dry enough. And so we are gonna grab this NYX uh, white eyeliner and we are just gonna dot it right in the middle of these lights so it has some dimension to it. Hopefully we don't put too much because that will ruin the whole thing. And then we'll have to start over again. And ain't nobody got time for that. It looks like there's a light inside of them. Yay, okay. Um, so now I guess we wait again for just a second while this lovely white dries. So now I am going to grab a uh, JH38. I just looked at it, JH38 brush. And we are gonna do some like stippling on top of where this is so we can blend the white and the colors together. That way it's not so like prominent. So we are going to grab the James Charles and Morphe Unleash Your Inner Artist palette because there are literally all of the colors in the whole wide world in here. Let me back it up so you can actually see. Ooh, ah, right. Okay, so we're gonna start with a red, which we're gonna use this one that's called, you're kidding, because seriously, it's the best red ever. So let's just dive into that one. Yeah. We're barely gonna touch it, because it is pigmented. Girls got some pigment. So we're just gonna tap it right on top. And to blend the two together. We're gonna do that on every single red light bulb. It would just be silly to put it on the other ones, right? See, so she's got kind of a little glow. You can see that, right? Maybe it's just in my head. Yes, queen. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, cool. Um, and then we are going to find another one of these brushes. Where'd you go? Actually, we're gonna use a JH39 brush because I don't have another one of those brushes. And we are gonna dip into the color um, B over here, which is this beautiful yellow, which it should be called B, and we're gonna put that on the, you guessed it, yellow light bulbs. like Leonardo DiCaprio when he was in the Titanic. So we're just gonna put a hat on this and deal in just a couple of minutes. And now we are going to grab uh, another JH39 brush and we're gonna dip into the color, what is it, soda, cola, cola. Into the color cola, which is this dark blue color. And we're gonna put that on. I almost put that on my nose. I want my nose to be blue. Today. We'll do that on a later date. And 
And so we'll grab the shade Daddy. And we'll grab that right down there with a JH39 brush. I'm gonna be honest, I've been using the same JH39 brush the whole time. I just have been washing it off, wiping it off. My soul is happy, so that means it's okay, right? Sweet, I got lights on my eyeballs. Okay, so now we are gonna go back in with this NYX Epic Ink Liner in that shade black. We're just gonna touch back up that line because I closed my eyes and it got green on it and we don't want it to be green. Now I'll take this JH02 brush and just buff off all of that excess powder that we had all over the face. And we will go in and do some blush and get this face beat. So we're gonna use the NARS Cosmetics blush in the shade Orgasm. And we're going to put that on the face. Look, it's brand new and fresh. It still has like a little container -y thing on it. So we're gonna use that and then we are gonna grab this uh, JH04 brush, which is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Cosmetics collaboration. And just grab that and put it right here. You know what, actually before we finish like our highlighter and stuff, I do want to dive in with that B shade from the James Charles and Morphe uh, artist palette. This one right here, this wall yellow. And just pop that in the inner corner just to make more of a like pop where this light strand would start, if that makes sense at all. Beautiful. Look like a Christmas tree. So now for the highlighter, we're gonna go in with this Morphe 8S palette, and then we are going to grab this shade Galactic, that is the second one in, right in here. Boop, boop, boop. And we're gonna pop that on with a JH09 brush. I love this one for my highlighter. And then just as a topper to make it more of like a silvery, um, super pretty shade, we're gonna go in with the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, but I don't know where the crap that's at. And we're gonna grab Forever Lit in this bottom corner. Yes, it's upside down. We're gonna just pop it off right in there. See, watch this. I love this one so much. It doesn't even do it justice. Like, you can't even see. Fine. She blinding though. So we used Lily Lashes in the style Yas Queen, which I love so much. And it's just to be able to accentuate like more of the outer corner and keep this inner corner uh, more detailed. So now we are going to put on some lipstick and we are going to make this, I kind of want to do more of like an ombre effect. So it's more dark on the outside and then lighter on the inside, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Where's my dark red? Where's my dark red? Oh, there she is. So we're gonna use this Morphe Bloodshot and we are going to just outline it. I usually like to use a liner for this, but I don't have a deep red liner. So we are just going to do with what we got, okay? So now we're gonna go in, Ew, what the crap? Okay, just kidding, let me fix this. What's happening? Okay, that's better-ish. So now we're gonna go in with a lighter red, just right in that very center put on top so then it makes it more of a pretty like light. So we're gonna use that red rum shade that we used for the dots on the eyeballs, the lights I should say. Cause that's what they are. 
And we're just gonna put that right Oh, so pretty. And this also gives the effect that your lips are like more plump than they actually are, which is, oh my gosh, look how cute. <laughs> Ugh. Thank you. It gives the effect that your lips are actually more plump than they are, which I, yeah, I need. Cool, so let's finish this off with some MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. And we'll put that all over the face, and I think that's gonna do it for today. Well, that is it for today's video, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you learned something. And if you didn't, that's just fine. But thanks again so much for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my page. Before you leave, I put out new videos every Monday and I will see you on my next video. Bye.